So let's go ahead and get started with this particular exercise. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix up a large amount of both my Hooker Green Deep watercolor and my Ultramarine Deep watercolor to get a nice, deep, rich, evergreen color. Now I'm going to be switching colors in my palette and on the paper to give you a little bit more of a variety of color. So I'm going to have some darker a value of green and I'm going to also have a lighter value of green that I'll be using along with that. The importance of the value or the value change or color changes is to give you some variety in the uh, painting. Variety is very important as what keeps interest uh, in the painting for the viewer. So let's go ahead and start putting some color on this particular sheet of paper. I'm going to put the evergreen trees over here. I'm going to leave the sketch here for you to see, but I'm going to paint this actually without doing a sketch in this area. This is very simple. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to change color again, just so you can see how I'm doing a variety of color. Now you'll also notice in here that I'm not painting all of the boughs of the tree. I'm actually just illustrating or demonstrating at the top to show you that this in fact is an area of evergreen trees. So what I'm saying to you is this, I'm painting an area of tree, not an individual evergreen tree in this case. So I'm painting a forest. So back to my palette, a little more color going on, continue painting. And again, I'm going to switch again to a lighter green to give you a little more variety. Now, one thing that's very important, I'm going to take at the bottom of this area of the green area of the tree, and I'm simply going to take and pull this color down with the side of my brush. Now, this is where a natural hair brush or a uh, brush that has both natural hair and synthetic work very well. What happens is that the hairs of the brush will pull away from the main body of the brush and that will give me a nice uh, rough edge or landscape look edge to the, to the bottom of these trees rather than just having a flat area at the bottom. 